Hi, I'm Eric Brinsvold, and welcome to another Ask a Dev. Today's question comes from Shelby. She asks, what are some trends developers can take away from CES this year? Thanks for the question. CES is a great time to see what companies and manufacturers think will be worth focusing on in the new year. This year, there wasn't one big innovation that got everyone talking, but rather a series of smaller updates that are moving these concepts towards reality for everyday users. Chevy announced their Chevy Bolt, an all-electric car for only $30,000 after incentives. Casio demoed a rugged Android smartwatch targeted at outdoor users with water resistance and battery-saving dual-screen technology. Oculus showed off a shippable version of their Oculus Rift headset, and they had lines wrapped around their booth with attendees eager to try out the system. One area where there's a lot of movement is in the connected home. I lost count of the number of light bulbs, outlets, and water sensors demoed on the floor by all sorts of companies. Some companies are trying to unify the experience for users under their own brand. For example, the Lowe's Iris system utilizes a custom smart hub to allow Iris-branded devices to connect to other third-party devices sold by Lowe's, including GE switches, Honeywell thermostats, and Genie garage door openers. Other companies, like Apple and Google, are creating communication protocols for hardware manufacturers to implement that promise a wider ecosystem. These protocols allow hardware manufacturers to make it easy for their hardware to integrate with other third-party devices and make it easier for software developers to develop apps that aren't tied to a specific piece of hardware. Apple announced HomeKit in 2014, with the first HomeKit devices shipping late last year and even more available at this year's CES. We're already seeing the benefits of HomeKit integration with Beam, a connected home hub we created for HomeKit products. Google announced its own IoT software, Brillo and Weave, at Google I.O. last May. And CES brought us the first round of the devices that support Weave, a smart home hub from LG and a connected lock from Quickset. Of course, all of these different communication protocols create platform fragmentation. HomeKit has momentum, but does not support Android devices, so it excludes a portion of potential users. Weave is supported on both iOS and Android devices, but is newer and therefore does not have as many devices to choose from, and lacks the deep OS-level integration that HomeKit enjoys with iOS. It'll be interesting to see how hardware manufacturers solve this problem. Quickset, one of the first companies supporting Weave, has chosen to make different versions of their lock for each communication protocol they support, HomeKit, Weave, and Thread. This allows Quickset to capture more of the market, but it still does not solve the user problem of platform lock-in. Keep an eye on this space to see if manufacturers are able to support multiple platforms with one piece of hardware, or if they continue to take the approach that Quickset is using. That's it for this episode. As always, tweet your questions with hashtag AskAdev or just leave them in the comments below.